Hey guys, welcome to Saturday Spotlight. Spotlight's just a little bit different this week. Um, I've been noticing uh, out there uh, some of the other channels, the guys are doing their uh, basically their, their 2023 year-end review of their builds for the year. So I figured uh, uh, being with the Spotlight, what it is, focusing on my past builds, uh, this would be perfect. Uh, so I just figured I would showcase this week uh, the builds that I've got done this year. Now, uh, there's not as near as many models on this bench as I would have liked to, for there to have been. I'll get it. I will get it. I promise. Uh, not as many builds as I would like to have on the bench, guys, uh, as far as a one-year uh, review. But, however, uh, this guy, not so much this one, but this guy right here, and I've got the trailer to couple up to it. Because of this, this probably, guys, was like the equivalent of me doing three cars, I would say probably. So had I not done this semi here, I would have probably had three car kits on the table. Um, I did not include my 56 that I'm working on because it is not complete, and I wanted this to be completed builds. So uh, just real quick, now guys, I know I've showed these on my channel before as I build them, uh, certain progress and everything. But I'm going to just go over a real quick uh, uh, overview again of these. And um, and then I've got uh, the Ryder trailer for this, uh, Matt Cruise Liner. Uh, but I've also got a trailer that I coupled up to this that I actually have not officially had on the channel yet. So you will get one new, um, one new um, model to look at basically on this. Now I did have it on a video short that I did with this truck. Uh, so, but I'm going to bring that in here in just a little bit and show you that one up close uh, because I have not, like I said, I have not officially shown it on the channel. So basically what, uh, what this year uh, got me and I actually, I started, this is kind of the order and how these came together. Uh, basically um, this back here is the, uh, the Ravel Peterbilt 359 conventional cab uh, truck. Uh, actually started life as a snap tight back in, I believe it was 1981, 82, right in that ballpark. So a uh, very, very nice kit to build. Um, it, it lacks on some detail in certain places. Yes. Um, is it a, is it a show truck? Maybe not. Although I did have it, I did have it at the, uh, at the, uh, New Hope, um, LT show this year in August here in Lima. Uh, and I did, I did take a second place with that and the trailer, the new trailer that I had coupled up with it. So, uh, made for a nice display piece, um, uh, got the engine in there painted up, detailed. And I don't know, I don't think I'm going to bring all these in guys, because I've done other videos where I've showed them up close. So, uh, you can scroll back through my other videos and you'll see, uh, these on there and, uh, and check all those out. This actually was featured in my very first video about a seven and a half minute video or so, almost eight minutes. Uh, go check that out, guys. Um, that was in my first video. So, uh, Ravel Peterbilt 359. Uh, really enjoyed bu building this one. Uh, it's a quick builder, um, other than, you know, just the time for the paint. And it's got some dust on it because I don't have a case big enough for that. So it just sits on a shelf and with a wood stove, uh, generates some ash in the air and everything. So, uh, but it, you know, cleaned up pretty well here, uh, for what we're doing right now. Uh, but enjoyed building it outside of the paint work and everything that it takes to do on it. Uh, and like filling little seams here and there, like on the fuel tanks and stuff like that. But outside of that, very, very fun build. And that was actually my first semi truck completed truck that I did this year. So that's the 359. And then the next one, of course, uh, I did have, uh, updates on this one. It's the Mack Cruise Liner, the AMT Mack Cruise Liner. Uh, challenging in places, but yet nonetheless, when it was all said and done, uh, very enjoyable build. Um, I, I did have a couple frustrations here and there, but overall, guys, builds up to a nice truck. You take your time, decipher the instructions. The old AMT truck instructions weren't always the most clear things to read. Uh, most of you guys that have built semi-trucks know that. But anyway, uh, we make do with it. Uh, and then this one got a nice, uh, cab tilts, nice, almost, almost a 90 degree tilt. Uh, so got the engine detailed up in that one. If you can see that, if I can see around the bracket on my phone here, uh, but I got that engine detailed up a little bit. I did put the, uh, wires, 
uh, for your air hoses. Uh, I think it's, uh, I can't remember exactly. I think this is the electrical one. Uh, this was the service brake, air, uh, emergency brake, one of that. Anyway, I don't remember 100% what all those were, but I just kind of fitted them up and coupled it to the trailer. Uh, and then again, I just, uh, these tanks here uh, was interesting because I, I painted them a, uh, a Rust-Oleum bright coat chrome. And I th thought I'd try to polish them out and it started doing this. And I thought, and kind of found that color by accident so i just finished it up and i really like the look that i got on that so that's one thing that that came up hoping you can see that but anyway let me let me move this guy out of the road i'm gonna turn him just pull him around there to the side just a little bit there you go you can see that the way those uh tanks came out on there and again i did some weathering on the engine and all that so a little bit of weathering back here on the chassis not a whole lot a little bit uh just uh light light surface rust and stuff like that uh just to show it's got some use on it kind of dirty up the wheels a little bit and uh but anyway that was a fun build that's amt mac cruise liner uh and like i said before on other video i don't i don't generally go and she's not going to sit down all the way i'll get that later i want to snap it off uh i don't generally go with box art a lot of times on my kits but that one i just really happen to like the way that looked so I opted to go with a box art on that. So that come out, uh, was pleased with the way it turned out. So move this over here. And then uh, that was the semis that I built. And I'll get into the trailers in a minute because I want to clear this up with the trailers up here. But first we'll talk about, just go and show this one. Uh, this was my NASCAR I did this year. The Kale Yarbrough number 27 uh, Buick. And uh, I got these decals from Mike's decals. Uh, those are power slide. Very, very nice decals. I've, I'm really, really huge fan of those. Uh, but this was uh, like the old, this is from the old monogram kit. Uh, and now Salvino's JR has a kit that you can buy with this livery on it. Uh, like I said, I bought this one and I had ordered these decals before I realized that, uh, that they actually had a, a, a Buick with these decals uh, included already but uh i don't know how well you can see it because of the light um i got a fire bottle in there and all that all the standard interior stuff um uh, it's got the bottom there it painted the engine red on that one such and such pretty simple stuff uh but i love the old nascar especially this era uh i'd say from well 50s uh all up 60s 70s uh to the 80s to about I think I think really to about 94, 95, right in there. And after that, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of started losing interest. The cars really started changing the design and everything. And I just like these older stock cars. I think because these were the cars that were on the road when I was a kid and a young guy and everything. And uh, so I think that's why I really liked this era. Uh, I just like the way the races were done then. They took it down the wire. There was no playoffs back then in the day and all that stuff. Uh, but I just, I just like that era. And I've always liked Kale Yarbrough, so I uh, said it was time to build a Kale Yarbrough car. So that was my other complete build for this year. Uh, so I got two semi-trucks and an ass car up to this point. So uh, so the two trucks, the car. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, take a break here a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the trailers up here. And I'll, I'll let you take a look at the, the new trailer that I had built. Uh, that I have not featured on the channel yet. So I will be right back. All right, guys, I got those swapped out. Uh, so here is the, uh, the, the companion trailer to the, uh, the Mack Cruise Liner Ryder truck. Uh, I found these decals. Um, and again, I've got a video where I talked about all this, but for the sakes of this video, uh, in case anyone hasn't seen those previous ones, uh, ordered these decals off eBay and they're about 20 years old and they're very, very, very thin. So I did not know how this was going to go when I, when I first uh, put these on there, I'm like, so this may be a total wash, but, uh, they really work nice. I use a lot of setting solution right here because you see the way those lay down on those ribs. They really set. Let me get an angle on that for you. Maybe Yeah, right there. See how these lay down on those ribs and with that setting solution, uh, which happens to be this right here, Mark Fit. Uh, I used a lot of that on there. 
uh, laid down really nice. I was really pleased with it. So like I said, I was concerned being so thin that they'd start falling apart, but, uh, but I was really, really pleased with the way that came out. Uh, now this is the, uh, I can't remember. I know I was going to draw a blank on it, but it's, it's a, it was a Lindbergh at one time. IMC. This was the old IMC trailer actually is what that was. Uh, same molds and everything. And then, uh, now this is built as an AMT now, uh, big rig, uh, trailer. And it's actually comes in two sections here. Cause you can build it as just like a, like from here back as like a little with a single axle, a little city van type thing, uh, just a short haul type deal. But anyway, uh, went ahead with what, and this makes a 36 foot, uh, highway rig right here. And it just weathered up the tires a little bit, the wheels, uh, I got this weathered up a little bit on there, and I put some air hoses on it. And if you can see that, there you go. Just put some air hoses on the bottom. I uh, got the hangers on there. Made the hangers out of solder, actually. Just wound it up, hung them on there. Got the spare tire. Weathered the frame just a little bit. And then uh, if I can get turn this around, I can show you. I don't know how it's going to show, guys, because of the light. But let me swing this around here. There you go. There's the trailer floor in there, and I've got the inside of the walls painted white. And uh, used to unload trailers years ago uh, by hand, and so I spent a lot of time in trailers. So I got to kind of stuck in my memory what they were like inside. So it just added some realism to that. And uh, this uh, stains in here, I actually used some washes, uh, and they are, I think, yeah, I've got them right back here. Uh, they're this brand, uh, Color Wash Tint. Uh, this one is uh, French Roast, and then I've got another one here, uh, Old Bronze, and those uh, those really uh, nice blend of those, and I used the Model Master Wood. That, it's an old bottle of paint, but it still works well for that. Uh, when I run out of that, if I do more trailers, I'll have to find something different, but uh, these look work really nice, a nice blend of these, uh, look like it's been used and uh, stained up a little bit and everything, so that's how I did... That's how I did the trailer uh, on that, on the trailer floor. So that was, uh, and then on the back here, these doors, they don't work the greatest, but uh, I got the decals. I'm trying to move this hog around so you can see it. I just got the, uh, like the wide turn cautions and everything and uh, the stuff you'd normally see on the back of a trailer, license plate there, all come out of the kit. So anyway, so that's that. So I'm going to move this guy out of the way. Actually, I'm just going to swap here, I think. Let me get around in here, and I'll bring this one in forward. Now, this is the one, guys, that I have done that uh, that I have not shown on the channel yet, and I figured this would be a good time to do it. So uh, this is uh, the AMT 40-foot uh, Fruhoff flatbed trailer, and I made a load for it. I just wanted to come up with something... You know, it had on there, it had the steel rolls, uh, coils uh, that you could put, you know, on here. I had three of them and everything, but I like, I want to go with something just a little bit different than that. Maybe that I can make on my own. So I actually started this, guys. I started this in, I think it was December of 2020, I want to say, or 19, maybe. It's, I've had this a while, but I actually finished it this year. So I considered it a uh, a build for this year. Got some dust and crud on there. Uh, so it's a, it's a finished build for this year. Uh, but I took, uh, just painted with Rust-Oleum. I think that was called Colonial Red, I think. So I painted that with that, uh, got the bulk, I put the bulkhead on it. And what I did with that bulkhead, it, uh, it had some injection pin marks up on the front here. And so what I did is, uh, instead of trying to finish all those off, I just took a, a thin sheet of styrene, uh, sheet and glued on there. And then just glued that fast to the front there. And that kind of took care of all that. Got it all painted up. I opted to go. Now, now if you're building like uh, to show for an older trailer, which is why I didn't do it on this one. Uh, this would depict a newer trailer uh, because it's got the uh, safety stripes on the side. Uh, the older ones, uh, I don't think they were mandated to have safety stripes. I don't believe. Uh, so that's why I kind of left this one off to depict an older, an older style. Although some of this stuff on the back... Uh, Anyway, it is what it is, but anyhow, uh, so that's would depict a little bit newer uh, use of a trailer, uh, and it's got some chains up here, 
It comes with one of these chains. I can't remember, but I got some of these other ones from Hobby Lobby, uh, just like jewelry chain, and uh, just threw them up on there. And then I made the, I made all these. These are, um, I think they're, uh, I want to say quarter, quarter inch poplar uh, sticks, basically. Just got those at uh, at Lowe's, and then I just cut them all down uh, so I can make two uh, two stacks. So. Otherwise, they'd have been ridiculously looking long, and I didn't know if it would actually look uh, to scale or anything. But so I just decided to make me two uh, sections, and I have actually seen trucks with loads like this on it. So they're all banded up, ready to go where they're going. And then I just put uh, just basically a craft ribbon uh, for the hold down straps, uh, and then I just tied them on here. I know those actually would have ratchet straps, but when you're working in scale, you're going for illusion anyway. So I thought that come out pretty nice too. Uh, so this is the Fruhoff uh, flatbed. And I'll show you the back end here. And it's got the, if you can see that. Let me get my hand back in there. A lot of, not much room on the bench, guys, for this. There you go, Fruhoff. Fruhoff uh, mud flaps there. Got some more safety stripes. There's the. Kind of hard to see that though, but the Fruhoff name plate, like I said, a little dusty too, guys. But uh, I really won't turn this one over because of the load that's on it. But that's the one that I couple up to the uh, to the 359 there, Peter built. So, uh, so that's it, guys. That's uh, that's my builds for this year. Like I said, this wasn't 100. percent I already had the uh, the rear uh, tandems done pretty much. But I did paint it this year, uh, did the did the bed this year and everything, and I did the uh, I did the loads on it uh, this year. So it counts as my 2023 build. So uh, so that's that. So let me uh, let me make a couple more adjustments, guys, and uh, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, a little cramp, but for lack of space, uh, that's about as good as I could get it right there for you. But anyway, and then you see here, I got this one coupled up to the 359. So uh, guys, that's my. Uh, that's my 2023 builds and uh, my plans for 2024. Are I really would like to get a lot more builds. I'd like to do more builds on the channel for you guys and uh, and just keep rolling on that. I've got several projects in mind. I want to get the 56 done. Uh, Christmas time and everything rolled around. It kind of slowed me down again on it. But uh, we're going to get back on it and, and we're going to get that done uh, here fairly soon, I would hope. And then get some more builds going and... Uh, and see, we go. I got to say, I'm in on a couple group builds. We'll get them wrapped up as well, and uh, and then proceed on, and we'll see what we can come up with next. All right, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this week's spotlight. Uh, if you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Thank you, subscribers. I appreciate it uh, so very much, and uh, and and just means a lot. So I appreciate that very much. Uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give me a like, share, subscribe all the good stuff. Uh, so for, for now, until next Saturday Spotlight, this is Eric from Eric's Model Garage saying you guys have a great day, God bless you, and happy modeling.